Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Today I'm going to be making a carrot salad. I made this recipe for you on yesterday, but when we got ready to upload it, something happened between the camera and YouTube, and the whole video got messed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little bowl, because I have a larger bowl over on the side, which I'll show you. I just want to show you how to put this salad together. This is a good salad for summer, winter, spring, or fall. You can use it as a side dish which is what I will be doing today and later on I'll bring up what I'm the entree that I'm going to be cooking with this um, carrot salad so let's get started here I have the bowl that I made yesterday it's a uh, very quick very simple to make and I'm just gonna walk you through it and I'm gonna make it again now I've already taken the carrots down. The recipe calls for shredded carrots, and it normally calls for two pounds of shredded carrots. This is just a little under eight, nine ounces of shredded carrots, because that's what I had left over. Now, this is how I got it. It should have been shredded, but it's matched stem size. You don't want it like this because this is too large, so I just took my food processor and I took it down to be shredded like it is now. The ingredients that you're going to need is two tablespoons of powdered sugar. That's what you're going to need for this particular recipe. This is a less than a half a cup, maybe a fourth of a cup of pineapple, fourth of a cup of raisins, and a little bit less than a half a cup of mayo. Now, if you're going to be preparing this the way it normally goes, where it would serve six to eight people, it would be two pounds of carrots, shredded carrots. It would be a half a cup of the powdered sugar. It would be one cup of the pineapples, chopped pineapples, and you can get them crushed. If you don't get them crushed, you really don't want the chunks and you don't want them whole. You can just get a, get a whole can and then slice it up yourself to the size that you want it. It would be a half a cup of raisins. And what I do with the raisins is I take my raisins and I soak them in water. And the reason why I soak them in warm water is so they can plump up because I don't want the raisins to be hard when they go into the salad. And it would be a half a cup of mayo, any type of mayo that you want to use. My preference is always going to be Hellman's or craft mayo but you can use any type that you like and you can add more mayo if that's not the consistency that you want so let's get started here we have the carrots we're going to put in the powdered sugar we're going to add the pineapples and I did drain the pineapples so they are already drained I'm going to stir that up a little bit Then I'm going to add my raisins. And again, like I said, I soaked my raisins so that they would be plump when they went down into the carrot salad. We're going to stir that around. And the reason why I'm using powdered sugar, somebody may ask, why are you using powdered sugar as opposed to granulated sugar? Because powdered sugar is not as sweet. It does not require as much, and you're going to get a smoother taste. Then I'm going to add the mayo. Now, when you add the mayo, like I said, it's mayo to taste. The recipe calls for, if it's two pounds of carrots, it calls for one cup of mayo. But it's mayo to whatever, you know, your taste buds call for. I wouldn't over mayo. And the reason being is because sick cat, I'm sorry, carrots do carry water inside of it. And when you over, over mayo, you might get a little bit of water. So I would just add a little, keep going up like you see me doing here until I get the consistency that I want. What you're looking for is for the salad to be creamy. That's what you want. You want a creamy look to it. And that's more of a whiter look than a carrot look. So you know if it wasn't creamy, the carrots would make it look type kind of orange. But if it's creamy, it takes on, like you see now, just that white look. So that's what you're really looking for. This is done. Now you prepare your salad ahead of time and the reason why you do that is because you want all of these flavors to marry together in your refrigerator. So you'll take it, you'll make it before time and then you'll go ahead and you'll make whatever entree you're going to be serving with it. Here I have a bowl. I'm already done. I'm 
going to put this in my bowl. There you have it. Okay. And then I'm going to cover this and sit it in my refrigerator uh, for maybe at, le at least two hours and then you can take it to overnight or even two days if you want but prepare it ahead of time and let the flavors marinate together there you have it that's my carrot salad so i'm gonna come back later and i'm gonna make the entree for that thank you for watching chris cook for you too bye